Hello there and uh, welcome back to another video in this uh, notifications in Android uh, tutorial series. So in this video I am going to show you how you can uh, open up your uh, activity directly from your notification. So in this uh, specific example that I have prepared, uh, I have added uh, one more screen in our application. So we're going to use the same project from the previous videos in this uh, series but with only one difference. So here I have created the one more screen uh, with the name of a detail screen, right? And whenever I open up this detail screen from our main screen, uh, then we are going to see here a message saying uh, coming from a main screen. However, now let's try and trigger this notification and then let's uh, close our application and let's uh, try to click on this notification and see uh, what will happen. So now as you can see we have directly opened this uh, detail screen even though our application was actually closed. And from here of course we can navigate back to the previous uh, screen within our navigation which is a main screen. So in this example right here you have just uh, witnessed how we can uh, trigger our activity directly from our notification and open up a specific screen from our application where we have also passed uh, one argument along the way. So uh, be sure to watch this video until the end because I'm going to show you a couple of different things that uh, are quite important for uh, notifications in Android. Okay, uh, so first uh, I'm going to show you uh, how to trigger a simple activity from a notification and uh, after that uh, you will see a more useful example of uh, how you can open up a specific screen from your application but also how to pass an argument uh, to that uh, screen and uh, all of that from just a single click uh, on your notification. For that uh, we're going to use something that's called a deep link and uh, you will see. So uh, the first thing here I'm going to create now uh, a new pending intent that will allow us to trigger basically a uh, activity whenever we click uh, on our notification. So here I'm going to just uh, paste uh, some code and then I'm going to explain. And there you go. Uh, so here as you can see we have uh, created uh, just a simple intent. So just the same as uh, in the previous video in this series. Only this time uh, we are not calling our receiver. We are calling our actual activity. And then we have our click pending intent. Which basically calls uh, this uh, get activity function instead. And we are passing here the actual context. Uh, the request code. Uh, the actual intent. And the flag as well. So uh, now in our notification content builder. Uh, we just need to call here a uh, function uh, set uh, content intent and here we can just specify our uh, click uh, pending intent there we go let's run this example so I can show you that okay so now let's launch uh, this uh, simple notification there we go we can close this activity or this actual application and now whenever I click this notification right here uh, then we will be able to open up that uh, same activity but uh, as you can see this is just a basic and simple example and in most cases uh, we're going to work with uh, multiple screens uh, or a nested navigation within our application and in that case we also want to make the functionality so we can be able to basically uh, access uh, some uh, deep uh, screen within our application with a single click of our notification. And I'm going to show you that right now as well. So the first thing we need to reformat our code here in our project a little bit. So I'm going to create here one more screen. I'm going to name this uh, actual file a uh, details uh, screen. Uh, here I'm going to just uh, paste uh, some uh, composable function. There we go. So, so this details screen will basically have one text on the center of the screen. And that uh, actual... Uh, text will display uh, the message or the argument and this uh, message or this argument uh, will be passed to this uh, screen dynamically either from our main screen or from our notification. So you will see about that. Uh, let me just uh, modify our main screen as well. So I'm going to add here uh, one more button. Let me just add that button right here. So I'm going to add here one more uh, spacer. Perfect. And I'm going to add here a nav controller as a parameter to this uh, main screen as well. So nav controller of a type of a nav uh, host host controller there we go and whenever we click this uh, button uh, then we are going to navigate to our detail screen right and to that detail screen we are going to pass one argument which will be just a simple text message that will say uh, coming from a main screen now let's just create here uh, our screen class as well so let me just here create the new package actually so uh, navigation I'm going to create here uh, one uh, screen class 
So screen class, there you go. This will be actually a seal class. And this a screen class will contain only two destinations, a main and a detail screen, right? So uh, as you can see, this detail screen will have only one argument, and that will be just a simple string value. And the key of that argument will be named, for example, message. And I'm going to create here this uh, constant, so don't worry about that. Uh, next, let's create here one a new um, Kotlin file, actually. Nav graph. And here I'm going to also just paste some code and then I'm going to explain. Okay, so now as you can see in this uh, file right here, the first uh, thing which I have did, uh, I have declared here uh, two constants. And this uh, first constant uh, will be used uh, uh, as our deep link of our uh, details screen, actually. And that deep link will actually allow us to access and trigger our details screen directly from our notification without uh, actually opening up our application and just uh, going through each and every screen. So you will see about that. Anyhow, this is our actual key of our argument, so a message. And there we have specified that uh, actual key of our argument. Here we also have a function, a pass argument, that will allow us to basically uh, pass that uh, argument to our details screen. Let me just import this uh, screen class right here. So there we go. I'm going to now open up the main activity and here I'm going to uh, call our um, uh, setup navgraph function and here let's specify the nav controller. So remember a nav controller. There you go. And for now, let me just run this application so I can show you that we can actually navigate to our um, uh, detail screen from our main screen. Okay, so there we go. As you can see, this is our actual uh, main screen, which is the star destination. And whenever I click this uh, detail screen button right here, which we have defined in our main screen, uh, then we are going to navigate to our uh, detail screen and pass that a message, which will say uh, coming from the main screen. Okay, so let's click that button. And there we go. So everything here uh, works uh, as expected. Now, uh, what I want to do here, I want to uh, basically implement the functionality to actually access this uh, same uh, detail screen, but uh, from our notification instead. So whenever we trigger the notification and we close our application, and whenever we click on that notification, uh, we want to immediately navigate to that uh, detail screen without actually uh, opening up first uh, our main screen which is the star destination, okay? And for that, uh, you here need to define uh, this uh, deep links uh, parameter in your uh, composable screen, okay? So uh, you need to specify this uh, UI pattern, and this uh, my URI is the actual constant that we have defined right here. So you can change and customize this uh, URI uh, as you wish, but as you can see, after this URI, we are adding here one uh, slash, and then this uh, my arg constant, which is a message, then equal, and then within those uh, curly brackets, we are also specifying that uh, message key as well. And of course, within our composable, uh, we are just uh, getting the arguments, and we are extracting that uh, argument with the same key, if uh, it actually exists. So as you can see here, uh, we are getting the string or the argument with that specified uh, key of a message, and if that uh, key actually exists, uh, then we are going to basically trigger our detail screen and uh, show it to the users. Now, that's uh, not uh, everything that we need to do here. So, uh, the last uh, thing that we need to uh, specify and set up here uh, to be able to achieve that, uh, we need to open up our actual notification module, and we need to modify our uh, click intent and the click uh, pending intent. Okay, so now I'm going to replace uh, those uh, couple of lines uh, with the new code, and then I'm going to explain. Let me just import this uh, URI. There you go. And we can also replace this uh, message with uh, our actual uh, argument. So my arg, which is the constant. So just add this um, dollar symbol. There we go. Uh, so this is how our actual click intent uh, needs to look like. Okay. So here, the first uh, thing we need to specify is the actual action. So in this case, I have just specified the action view. Uh, then the second parameter here is uh, the actual URI. So the same URI that we have defined as a deep link in our composable screen, okay? So as you can see, it's the same as uh, our actual URI from our uh, uh, composable function right here. There we go. So uh, here we are specifying the actual URI, then the slash, the argument name, equal, and then the actual value that we want to pass as an argument. And of course, we need to convert that uh, string into a URI, so just call this uh, toUri function. 
and then of course we have the context and the actual activity. So the next thing which is different from before is our actual pending intent. So uh, to be able to actually uh, open up uh, our detail screen and to be able to navigate uh, back from that detail screen uh, as well, after we click on our notification, uh, we need to create uh, basically a synthetic a back stack. So for example, whenever our application is uh, closed and we click on that notification, we need to navigate to our detail screen, but also we need to construct uh, that uh, back stack so that we can later navigate uh, through our application the same way as we navigate whenever we open up that application from our uh, actual menu or from our start screen in Android. And here we are using this uh, class uh, task uh, stack builder where we are specifying this uh, click intent as a parameter to this uh, add next intent with a parent stack function. So this click intent basically contains that uh, a URI or a deep link which we are going to use to basically uh, navigate automatically and directly to our detail screen. And of course, uh, after that, we are just calling this uh, get pending intent function and passing the request code and the flag. Okay, so uh, now I think that we can finally run this um, example and I can show you uh, how will this uh, actually work. So now, as you can see, whenever we navigate uh, to our details screen uh, from our main screen, uh, we are going to receive a message here that will say uh, coming from a main screen because that's the same text that we have specified as an argument to our detail screen. However, now let's go back and let's try to uh, actually trigger a notification. And now let's close this application. There you go. And let's uh, click on this notification right now. So now as you can see, uh, we are currently at our detail screen and we have a different message that uh, will say a coming from notification. And also, if I press here a back button, uh, we are not going to uh, exit our application. Instead, we are going to return to our previous uh, screen in this uh, back stack, which is the actual main screen. Okay, because when we have created this notification component builder, we have also specified how to create our back stack and uh, which uh, deep link to include whenever we open up our main activity. And whenever we open up this main activity, this uh, nav graph will of course uh, be triggered and it will find that uh, deep link that we have specified for that specific screen. So that's how we are able to navigate uh, to a specific destination within our application, all from a simple notification. Now, of course, uh, this will actually work uh, if you're navigating uh, and actually opening up uh, your own application. However, if you want to use uh, deep links uh, to basically open up some different application, uh, then you will have to specify another code in the Android manifest file. But if you wish to basically uh, open up the deep link uh, of some other application that is not yours, uh, then you will have to specify the, some code within the Android manifest file. And you can read more about that uh, in this official documentation about uh, deep links with uh, Compose Navigation. So here you can see that uh, basically uh, those uh, deep links uh, allows you to associate a specific URL, action, uh, and or a meme type with a composable. And by default, these uh, deep links are not exposed to external applications. And if you want to make these uh, deep links externally available, uh, then you need to add this intent filter within your Android manifest file. And of course, in our case, we don't need to define this uh, code within our Android manifest file because we are navigating and using the deep link on our own application. So uh, anyhow, uh, that's uh, how this uh, click behavior actually works uh, with a notification. And now you have seen how you can uh, support that uh, uh, deep link uh, within your application whenever you click your notification. So it's uh, quite simple. Also, this project, of course, uh, will be available uh, on my uh, GitHub profile. And you can open up this uh, specific launch activity uh, branch of this repository. So the source code uh, is available. And if you have any question about this uh, specific code that we have written uh, in this video, uh, then feel free to comment down below and I will gladly answer to all your questions. So uh, be sure to comment down below and uh, like this video if you find it uh, helpful, of course. And uh, see you next one.